Cheers. Yep, this is my new morning routine. Chug a glass of water and a magnesium tablet. Do I feel like an 87 year old man when I do this? Quite indeed, I very much do. But magnesium is important and especially as an athlete. So uh, we just gotta do it. If I don't get enough magnesium, my muscles literally start like spasming and twitching and it's quite horrible. And so I gotta be on top of it. And this is a great way to do so. And especially after a game, I gotta double dose or else like literally I'll be like trying to go to sleep and my leg will be twitching and, <laughs> and it will drive me mad. And so this is for both my physical health and my mental health. I get that last little bit at the bottom. <laughs> Yes. So we had a game last night. Oh my goodness. It was a heartbreaker. We played so well. It was such a good game. And we were down one with like 20, 30 seconds left. And we had a miscommunication, a fatal miscommunication. And they scored and then we misexecuted our last play to get a three point shot to tie the game which was frustrating and heartbreaking, but at the same time, it was it was a good game. And especially for our team, like that's like some of the best I've ever seen us play. And so we just move forward and continue to compete and play and hope that these lessons can serve us well for the rest of the season and go from there. With that being said, today is a recovery day after a game. So I thought I'd just kind of bring you guys along and give you a little glimpse behind the scenes of what it looks like for a recovery day as a professional athlete. Obviously this is my personal routine. I'm sure everyone's is a little bit different and even mine varies based on the situation. A lot of times we have practice after a game and then some other recovery days are days where we get back at like 4.30 a.m. and then we have the day off. So my sleep schedule looks a little different because I try and get extra sleep so I'll sleep in and most of the day is gone at that point. But today we have the whole day and it's gonna be great, so I'm gonna take you along. I started this morning just with some personal devotions. Do that every morning, try and just stay on track with reading my Bible and praying and staying in the Word. And as much as that's a daily routine, it's just as important of an element on my recovery day to just be in the Word, to be in prayer, and yeah, just draw close to God because I know it's so easy. Personally, I struggle with placing my value and my identity in basketball. And so by having that daily habit cultivated, it's just kind of my reminder in the morning, my reset of who I truly am, what my purpose is here on this earth, and just trying to reset my focus on what truly matters in this life, other than all the superficial things that my human heart wants to chase. And so got that all done. Personally reading through Psalms and Romans right now, which has been awesome. I've been growing and learning so much and really enjoying that. And so now before I continue on with the day, I am going to take a quick shower and wash my face and brush my teeth, and then we'll get going with the day. Hey, what are you doing in here? going to make my bed and tidy the house a little bit. I've been doing a really good job of making my bed every day this season. I'm very proud of myself. I'm starting to believe the hype about making your bed in the morning and that first task done of the day, setting the tone for the rest of your day. So we're gonna make it. Don't you just feel so much more accomplished already? I do. Next up, I'm gonna fold these clothes. I'm trying to learn to love to fold clothes because man, it's just, it never ends. And I don't wanna spend so much of my life doing something that I hate. So it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. All right, well, I've got the laundry folded, the dishes put away, and my place just kinda tidied up here. And it is now breakfast time. I'm starting to get hungry. I got the idea last night to make shakshuka for breakfast because I haven't had shakshuka in so long and it's so good. And so my heart is now set on that. However, I don't have everything that I need for it, so I'm gonna have to make a quick run to the grocery store. I might just grab this banana to hold me over for the ride and so I don't buy all the food in the grocery store because I'm shopping while hungry. Dang it. Well, that was a total bust. <laughs> Made it all the way to the grocery store only to realize that they were doing seniors hour from 10 to 12, which I have seen a couple stores do. I guess I didn't realize that every store does this from 10 to 12 every day. We usually have morning practice or weights at this time, so I guess I don't usually go shopping. 
Oh! I don't... But this means we won't be having a Nishak Shuka this morning. What should I make now? I don't know. I can make pancakes. <laughs> Guys, I just realized I still have two sweet potatoes in my fruit basket, vegetable basket, thingamajigger. So I think I'm gonna make a sweet potato hash for breakfast. Yes, we've got a winner. Don't judge me for my muffin tin lid. My apartment came with one lid and it's about this big. So we improvise, okay? And now we wait. In the meantime, I'm gonna drink some more water because hydration is very important, especially after a big game. And especially when you're the sweatiest human in the world and lost like 12 liters of water during this set game. Quite ready. Oh, it's ready. Oh, it looks so pretty. This is honestly a masterpiece. I'm very proud and very hungry. So, bon appetit. Or as we say here in Poland, smacznego. Lord bless this meal. Best part about things like this, the yolk pop. Ooh, love me a runny yolk. Oh, that was delicious. But anyways. Now that I'm all fueled up, never too hydrated, I am going to do a little bit of stretching and use my Theragun and I even got to borrow the team's Normatec. Feel very grateful to get to have that today and so we're about to recover the body by every means possible right now. <laughs> now we stretch it out. Whew. When I stretch like this, I try to focus just on main muscle group areas, especially the posterior chain. So like calves, hamstrings, glutes, they can get very tight for me. And so just doing everything that I can to loosen them up. <sighs> Gotta get the calves with a little downward dog, pedal them out a little bit. And the glutes all the way. Yep, we're a little tight today. <laughs> Get my spine moving with some cat cow. Now this thing is my lifesaver. I actually just changed the head to this straight head. To be honest, I haven't experimented with the different options a lot, but this one is awesome, especially for like my IT band and my calf, which to be honest are two of the areas that I use this on the most. And so that's what we're gonna go with today. We're gonna start with the calves because they are the bane of my existence. Ooh. Cool note about the Theragun is that you can use it for both activation and recovery. Since I'm using it in recovery mode right now, I'm gonna spend a lot more time, especially when I find a tight knot, I'm just gonna like sit there for like 30 seconds to even like a minute and just let it release. You don't wanna do that if you're just going to a workout. You want to be more just like a quick kind of activation, get the blood flowing, get things quickly loosened up. You don't wanna to spend too much time on specific areas. But right now, since we're recovering, we can take our time. Glutes are the worst. Hands free. Too bad it's tight today. Ooh. Got a spot right there. And there we have it. Now onto the third mode of physical recovery. It's Norma Tech time. We got the cord, we got the leg sleeves, and hands. 
inside this little treasure chest, the magical Marmatech itself. Please be charged. God bless. All I have to do is pop my legs into these sleeves. Plug this guy in and plug it in here. Select how long I want to do this for. I'm gonna go 30 minutes right now, level seven, AKA the max, and we press play. And we're off and rolling. While this does its thing, I'm gonna watch film. To be honest with you, I don't watch film after every single game. Um, kinda depends on where I'm at mentally, what the game was like itself. And I think there's a lot that I personally can learn from this game, and so, want to use these as moments for growth and to get better. I need to, I, yeah, I have to stay closer to my chair. I have to, because it's an empty corner. That's not our responsibility. All done. Now we just disconnect, let it air out, and we're recovered. And I get a chance to kind of watch some film there, definitely saw some good things and definitely saw some just heartbreaking mistakes down the stretch. I was responsible for a couple of them, which always hurts, but you just get to use that as a learning moment, as a growth moment, um, and move forward, because that's all you can do in sport. But it certainly, it was really fun to watch our team play with so much heart and just play so well. And even for me, like I've been working through a lot of things mentally lately. And to just see some of those fruits of the work that I've been putting in, in the way that I performed, feels really good. And so we just continue to build on from here because this is not the end, this is just the beginning, right? All right, and I just finished up a Skype Bible study. I do a weekly Skype Bible study through AIA, Athletes in Action, and it's a bunch of girls who actually all play professional sports over here in Europe, and we get together and study the Bible, which is awesome. So I just finished that up, and now I have to run to the library. I have found an English-speaking library here in Gdansk, um, thankfully to my friend Veronica, who I met on TikTok. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I have to go return this book, and then I'm gonna go and grab some groceries and cook some dinner and I'm having a couple friends over tonight and we're gonna hang out and just watch a movie and just relax because that's what a rest day is for right I did all the work and now we just get to chill out so I hope you guys enjoyed this little look inside to a recovery day here the life of a professional athlete currently playing in Poland um, this is what it looks like nothing fancy pretty simple pretty quiet and so I hope you enjoyed this episode make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next one and I'll see you there Hydration is very important. 